Hi, this is Lady from Keep Unfrozen Ministries and we're entering into the month of February. How time flies. And of course, February is regarded as the month of love. Love is all around us, as the song goes. Love is where we're moving to, to celebrate on St Valentine's Day on the 14th, at least in our Western cultures. The shop fronts are filled with love hearts and a lot of red and ways of trying to entice you to buy things so that you can give to others to tell them how much you love them. And of course, where would we be without the card to our fiancés, to our husbands, to our spouses, to our wives, to everyone that to tell them the words, I love you, on that special day. Now love is something which is very much part of our DNA and something that God really placed there. It's very much in our hearts, hence the heart becomes the symbol of Valentine's. But putting aside how the world looks at Valentine's Day and the need to love, when it's really part of us, our part of our soul, why is love so important? Well, we are wired that way. We cannot exist very well. We cannot function even adequately without love. And for some people, that means searching for love all their lives. It's a shame when we're searching for love because we have it. We have it at our fingertips. We have it through Jesus Christ who came and died for us because he loved us so much. God loved us so much. And then when we mess up and get things wrong, love is there to cover a multitude of sins. By saying sorry, by saying to someone, look, I really love you, but I messed up. Will you forgive me? And when they say yes, there is nothing better and only love can overlook the faults that we have. Faults that I have, faults that I guess you have somewhere. You might not show them to everyone, but you know where they are. And of course, God can also help get you through those faults. He says, look, there's a better way of living. I will show you. I'll example it. I will give you the, the skills so that you can overcome any fault that you have and get stronger in him. So love is important. God is love. He is a loving father. He's a loving God to serve. Now, those who have not had the experience of a loving father in the natural world can often find that really difficult to call somebody father and yet brings back lots of memories which aren't loving. But it's having to reset the mindset because God is love. He loves you, he loves me, he loves this world and everything in it. He created it. Now, don't misunderstand me. There's other things that God is as well as love and he does example that as well. But today we are concentrating on the love side of God. Why does he love us? Why do you need to love him? Well, God loved us before we existed, before we were even a twinkle in our father's eye, as they say. He, we should love God because he first loved us. Now there's a concept to really get your head around. Need any help trying to work that through? Drop me an email, lady at ladyad.com think about the loving things that are in your life and celebrate each and every one of those. Lady AD, keep unfrozen.